Dinner and I'm one of the park rangers uh, based down here at the level a lot but also in some of the other parks. Brighton is nationally important for its elm population. We have 20,000 plus street tree elms in Brighton and Hove uh, and some of them are here. You can see them uh, dotted around the big trees that we can see, the darker green ones are big elms. Most of the big ones were planted I think in 1844 for the Earl of Chichester. And there's a butterfly that lives, a rare butterfly that depends on these elms here at the level and elsewhere in Brighton and Hove. It's common as anything in Brighton and Hove because we have the elms and it's really rare in the rest of the country. The white letter hair streak. You wouldn't think you'd have rare wildlife here in the town centre, but you do. And I've seen the, the peregrine falcon hunting the pigeons uh, above St Peter's spires of St Peter's there. So it's amazing what you can see when you look out for it, you know. The level's been a, a gathering place for the people of Brighton and Hove, well mainly Brighton, for about 200 years or more. Um, lots of games of football, lots of frisbee, guys playing cricket, all sorts of things. Um, you get other sorts of weird things out there into the night, you know, you'll have people doing fire juggling, you get tightrope walkers out there. I've even met a bloke taking his, taking his chicken for a walk out on the level <laughs> before. And that's what it's for, it's a space, you can put it to all sorts of different uses and in a place where people don't have much space and where some people might not even have any gardens as well, so this is their garden.